Dear friends, good morning. Wish you all Happy New Year 2023. It is my proud privilege to welcome you on behalf of Professor Bramsing Horticulture Foundation, abbreviated BSHF, a not for profit organization, and my own behalf to this. 5H webinar series talk 23, which is the last one but not the least one, which you will know it. BSHF is thankful to NIPA, New India Publishing Agency, New Delhi, for sponsoring this webinar series this year. I'm happy to welcome co-organizers, Dr. Pitam Kalia, ICR Rafi Ahmed Kidwai Awardi, former head division of vegetable science and coordinator, the School of Horticultural Sciences, ICR IARI, New Delhi, and Dr. Shailendra Rajan, former director, ICR Central Institute of Subtropical Horticulture, Lucknow. Today, the webinar is on Hanging Greenery and Vertical Gardens by Managing Directors. One of the directors is already on the airport, uh, so busy. So, uh, Pradeep sir is there. Pradeep and uh, Madam <coughs> Anuradha Pandey, founder they are founder of ELT, which stands for Eco Green Landscape Technologies Private Limited, Pune. Friends, the importance and attractive as well as pleasing eco green landscape, whether indoor or outdoor can hardly be overemphasized. ELT specializes in vertical gardening, green rope or improving the, or making the surrounding or landscape very, very pleasing. It is important that plants used for the development of urban landscaping must be tolerant to air pollutions a common topic as urban area are continuously expanding and the environment pollution is also expanding. Whether it is your air pollution, water pollution, soil, whatever pollution you see. And they are likely to increase and new challenges might also emerge. So we have to do something. Now, how to reduce pollution and make surroundings appealing? Not only appealing, but mood and answer. I underline the word. Mood and answer. At urban public places, with the help of horticulture or beautiful plants and vertical production technology which will be enlightened by Mr. Pradeep Bar Pandeji in next 50 minutes. Now I request Dr. Pitam Kaliaji to formally introduce the speaker, Mr. <coughs> Bar Pandey, and uh, to certain extent ELT. Friends, question can be raised in chat box. And if time permits, you will be able to answer. Dr. Pitam Kalia, sir. Thank you, sir. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's indeed uh, towards the end of uh, 2022. We have 
very important uh, lecture on uh, hanging greenery and vertical gardens by none else than Anuradha and uh, Pradeep Barpande. Uh, at the outset, uh, uh, most respected uh, Professor Brahm Singh Ji, founder of uh, BSHF and uh, co-organizer uh, Dr. Shailinder Rajanji and the speaker uh, presently Dr. Uh, uh, Pradeep Barpande Ji, uh, who is uh, uh, founding director, uh, directors rather, including his wife Anuradha of uh, Eco Green Landscape Technologies India Private Limited, uh, which is a leading green wall company specializing in vertical gardens, uh, garden products like uh, green walls, living walls, bio walls, green roofs, and urban farming. Uh, they are instrumental in taking the concept of uh, hanging gardens to highest levels of technology and sustainability at uh, Terminal 2 of uh, Bangalore Airport, which is admired by experts from all over the world. Expo 2020 at uh, uh, Dubai also had a very large installation of uh, water features covering more than 16,000 square foot. It has already sustained two summers like a champion and is the talk of entire Gulf area. Uh, ELT is, uh, uh, has covered 55 cities, seven countries, 2,000, uh, 2 ,50 square foot green wall, 2 lakh square foot green roof with 16 types of uh, systems. And uh, the name Evergreen Landscape Technology Private Limited stands for 34 years of horticulture expertise and uh, 12 years of exceptional mastery of uh, non-conventional greeneries with uh, comprehensive capabilities in horticulture, vertical garden, and green roof. Evergreen Landscape Technology Private Limited India is a leading green wall company specializing in vertical garden products mm -hmm. as already has been detailed and now popularly, popularly known as ELT India is a name synonymous with the extraordinary proficiency in non-conventional greeneries with the comprehensive capabilities in horticulture, vertical gardens and green roofs. Pradeep and uh, Anuradha Barpade, who own this venture, have been associated with horticulture since 1987. Their area of expertise involves soft, softscape execution and maintenance, large tree transpl uh, transplantations, soil erosion control, large scale plant supplies, and landscape maintenance. So, uh, viewers, uh, we are lucky enough to hear to uh, this uh, ELT founders uh, presently, uh, Pradeep ji, who will be enlightening us uh, with this important, uh, uh, with their important uh, uh, expertise in very different area, which is uh, need of the hour and uh, future stands for this. So, with this, I invite. Uh, uh, Pradeep ji for uh, uh, taking the floor and uh, uh, educating viewers uh, on various aspects of ELT. Uh, Pradeep uh, Bar Pandey ji, floor is yours. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Brahma Singh, Dr. Kaliya, for introducing. Uh, basically, uh, first, let me wish you Happy New Year and thanks for joining this. And I also uh, thank organizer for giving us chance to represent something different and new for probably everyone. We are basically uh, horticulture since 1987, as Sarah already said. But since 2008, we started working on non-conventional greenery. So uh, we kept on doing new things, finding new ways of doing vertical greenery. And now, uh, 
automation of this iot based automation we basically supported somebody and now we have automation which is iot based and that is used in the project that i am about to present so i'll start with uh, first uh, this video which you must have seen but probably this is a longer one and from my uh, point of view i have taken this you will be able to enjoy this i'll just start this So this is actually a work which is done in Dubai. This is uh, over eighteen thousand square feet, and it is a skin provided to this water body. This is all fabricated structure on which green walls are from outside, and uh, there is a waterfall from inside. So this is already explained. So we are into biophilic phases. Our motto is to wait. But but जाने से पहले एक comment कर जाओ topic whether appropriate or inappropriate. Sorry. Topic appropriate or inappropriate. Oh, kindly yeah. Uh, carry on, carry on. Carry. He is talking in room. Please. Thank you. Thank you. thank you sir thank you right. so basically <laughs> providing greenery in no, build no, no, environment no, no, go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead accept go ahead, go ahead and are you able to hear so me? much for everything okay okay yeah please continue please continue this background please continue okay. we are able to hear okay okay continue okay okay kindly kindly continue okay. it's, a, okay, it's sir. all in order okay sir so basically uh, providing greenery in urban habitat is the intention behind doing uh, you know doing more work on this and uh, so we have a nursery which is soilless 
this is the infra which is required for any good vertical garden company then you have to provide service centers training good plant material good nurseries so uh, the valuation you accreditation can always help you in getting good project and also that keeps uh, you you know on toes for improving your own quality so basically our systems are patented and we have till now 13 ips so most of the architects from the world they trust us for feasibility report basically whether the uh, proposal is sustainable or not for that basically people call us so these are the project this is a latest trend now you know parking and par parks are already gone what we have is only parking so this vertical surfaces you making them green is a complete new technology it's not just gardening basically it involves engineering architecture horticulture product designing installation services everything it involves so these are some of the projects you can see somewhere where there is no ground also this uh, champagne bottle shaped uh, greenery is raised up to 35 feet yeah this you already saw so this is how those multiple sloped uh, this thing are done even for their inauguration they prefer to have a greenery so it tells you that worldwide there is a high uh, priority for creating greenery having them this is in pataya uh, i couldn't go for execution for this project but uh, they had used our technologies for making this and um, he says that mr kampon says that he was inspired by uh, his visit when he visited india that time he found this uh, very exciting and he has enormously huge unit pataya botanical garden a nongnuch at nongnuch so this is a new kind of a media which is uh, made from pre polymer and uh, hydrophilic foam based substrate and that is uh, holding on its own it has own reinforcement using organic fibers and you can make a different kind of uh, surprising kind of a greeneries which are on hanging with irrigation drain in built everything is in it so we are talking about uh, exploring new areas for providing greenery earlier we used to have them in ground then we started having them on the roofs after roofs uh, when roof also started getting occupied by solar panels services then ac chillers and all that then we actually came down to vertical surfaces of the buildings fences now are getting green even on uh, even you don't have space to do planting but still you can have a greenery this is a simple pathway with a green railings on both the sides indoor spaces also can also be uh, made green sustainably though there is a limitation on vegetation media uh, the plant selection is very important also the light intensity if there is no natural light then you have to give right kind of light intensity for particular number of hours then you can have a sustainable greenery the one which is on the left side is almost 7 years old over here also on the right side is 8 9 years old so basically sustainable sustainability is not the issue it is the maintenance right kind of environment what we give if we give it uh, seriously i mean serious uh, thought is given to it then definitely you will always have a good greenery growing inside keep in mind that anything that grows will always give you provide you some oxygen and anything which is dying is going to provide you co2 so whether to have a dying plant inside or a healthy plant inside is not a difficult decision how to keep it healthy is important now you know this is a pool right next to pool this is a repeat client after 5 years of first project they have come up with this five star swimming pool you can say but it's they are so sure that pool will definitely remain clear 
because of the hydrophilic that structural media what we have so there is no loose media plants grow within that for a number of years simple greeneries tall greeneries then this is these are perforated where there is a high wind velocity you have to allow air to go through this so you have to make sure that it's perforated and still it is green this is green from both the sides different applications of vertical greenery so there are n number of uh, you know possibilities of having greens this is a normally we used to grow plant from the ground put it on the pergola it would normally take few years to go up and after going up by that time it becomes so strong and dominating maybe it can cover everything wrap up everything and will not give a beautiful look what architect or designer has looked for many a times on the uh sorry many times uh, below the vegetation lot of dry leaves and dust get accumulated so you always see bad side of the of the pergola we developed this particular system where plants are grown up there itself and from top as well as from below from bottom you see both are green and beautiful uh, plants this is a shaft which is inside the building four storied and it is green from both the sides so a hard hard area what that seating and all that it has just uh, got you know beautified and had become more interesting now this is a project which is done for dehradun long time back and it is totally covered with grass this is ongc's uh, head office at tel bhavan so it had a lot of many ch uh, challenges and uh, with proper technology we have done this today's time of 45 minutes will not be sufficient to take all the case studies but uh, maybe later on we can talk about, think about it or in the questionnaire you can ask some questions but we have used up till 30 degrees we have used reinforced cement enabled soil media you can say soilless media without cocoa pit and uh, above 30 degrees slope we have used hydrophilic foam to cover this this is again a hanging this thing you always have facades glass doors windows there are so many places where you can easily hang this kind of greeneries and give you know greenery that suits your eye so these are shallow greeneries this project has come to us by accident uh, the furniture contractor forgot to keep sufficient depth for putting uh, 8 inch deep pots so in our system in our media we are able to grow that size of plants required size of plants even in 2 and 1/2 to 4 inches so we gave them solution and uh, the office was green so using the same media we have developed some small units for uh, you know individual uh, retail customer also so it's not really necessary that to great get the greenery inside you have to uh, get, uh hire a very big contractor or something like that you can do it yourself you can plant it and this is again a surprising the media doesn't come out because of its features it supports the media supports roots like anything you can see they grow very well and uh, it's a kind of a sponge you can say specialized sponge same is used in uh, delhi at panchashil a private residence which, which had a wrong slope it had a negative slope and there was a water stagnation so uh, inside the garden so they filled up that space and what we were left was just 2 and 1/2 inch depth for growing lawn 
it was done using uh, this hydrophilic foam based system and at 47 degrees also it was green lush green and no sign of any uh, scorching now this is the project which actually i just thought to tell more because that has been have been inaugurated a few days back few weeks back and everybody must be having uh, quite a uh, how this must have been done must be everybody's question so i just thought that i will spend some more time on explaining this particular project so these are the hanging greeneries and uh, architects are from new york landscape architects are from uk they had developed this idea and uh, for cracking the design for making it uh, bringing it in the reality uh, we were given chance to make a mock up give the mock up and uh, we were able to actually deliver that you will just see that in the next this thing so the irrigation comes from the top excess water accumulates in these rings over here and that is recycled when required it has all sensors so you can see these red sensors there are these these they are giving alert this red that that the moisture level has gone down this uh, clip is taken when the things were still in construction stage so now we start with bales itself this was what the original idea was this was a 3d printed this thing we understood that doing this with fabric system or any other system would be difficult for maintenance so we suggested a modular system we did our trials for different kind of things then we made up uh, our modules were fitted in such a way that we are able to achieve the shape which is required and it has inbuilt irrigation and drain arrangements so the, the module on the top will emit water into the lower one and like that at one particular location we take away the water and the bigger pots are again there so treating these a uh, shallow neck portions and all that it was a quite a challenge but uh, because of a, having a variety of solutions we were able to give a solution to them and in less than two and a half months time we were able to give solution because we already had worked on iot based uh, automation controls for our vertical garden projects so so this is how the first mock up was done and then so it has inbuilt pumping everything is within inside and it is recycled if there is a less water in water reservoir then the fresh water would come otherwise first it will always have a priority to use the water which is already there in water reservoir so the moisture sensor level sensor everything they work together using the iot based system once this was done and that was in principle found okay we were given chance to make a mock up first mock up at the client's place itself and it was installed there using uh, so the first bell was up in uh, we started working on this project in uh, september 2018 by december 12th 
we already had given the complete solution to the client. So we were told to do all well full size mock up inside the terminal, which was actually under construction. So within the next six months time, we gave them a complete solution of all the typologies of bales and wells. And this mock-up was, uh, client was very happy. And then they asked us to go for mass production. And the mass production was just like any factory, big factory. And so it was looking like a complete, uh, I would say, full-size factory. And... Uh, And finally, we uh, delivered uh, these bales uh, to the client uh, three months back. The second is wells. Wells is something uh, which is like, so we develop again. So it's all engineering job. Initially, it was all engineering job. Then it was a work of a horticulturist. So... First, we designed it, different parts. Then holding such a load on wire ropes was the thought. So we provided all reinforcement inside the planter, allowed all the services to come and uh, go through the planter without leaking the planter. So the first mock-up was made ready. Then, then similar like that, we were asked to provide a full-size mock-up of all the types and this was uh, given to them which was followed by uh, instruction to start mass production now you know making 8000 pipes of same size same dimensions same bend same quality was not an easy job and uh, at achieving this kind of shape uniformly irrespective of 10 welders will do the welding still the shape has to come the same center of gravity and everything which is was also technically very important so that was taken care initially in the mock-up we have checked how much load we can put off center also to what extent and then we started making a, a lama scale production And finally, we have delivered this. This kind of a hanging garden is one of its kind in the world. And uh, we are really proud Indian to have made it for the first time, which is, which required a lot of efforts, techniques, accuracy, everything. And uh, even the scale is also very huge. So it was really something which was big exercise. And one should be proud to have that being done in India for the first time. So that was mainly about these new projects which were there. Now, what does vertical gardening involve? It's always a question. It's, I always say that it's a 10% or 5% of gardening and the rest is a technique. In case of this kind of, uh, you know, hanging thing and all that, one needs to be very sure about what exactly are the inputs and what are the limitations. So basically, a designer has to design it, which is attractive and that fulfills client's requirement. So if in this particular case, you can see it is a sloping roof, which is getting merged into green wall. Again, it is having odd cuts, odd shapes and all that. So giving this in living greenery is not that easy. So first you have to think how I'm going to support it. So uh, you have to design first structurally, 
then you have to use right system once it is done now you know most of the uh, systems which have come to india they are from either canada or australia singapore uh, these places and using them blindly in our environment in our climates would be a big mistake so we studied everything for uh, initially we also changed the canadian technology and we started exporting them since 2009 and they are using same design now even now so you have different choice in the market there are n number of system modules but depending on what you want if you want if there is a high wind velocity then you have to make sure that the air passes through or your structure should be so strong but when you want soundproof uh, area the soundproofing you want to use or thermal insulation properties you want to use then you will have to use something which covers everything and provides greenery from other side so selection of a right system is also very important so this is a case in delhi only so one system has uh, failed it it resisted the wind it had fallen down and the other system which had this uh, space for air to go through and also sustain the vegetation to sustain that tunnel effect that wind so on that basis actually the system needs to be selected now when we do a shallow plantation for green wall green roof we work against the gravity so we tend to reduce the weight of the media and as a uh, since density comes down the anchorage for the roots becomes a problem so you have to provide mechanical anchorage to roots by providing a geotextile this is a bio blanket which is made of organic uh, combination of organic and synthetic recycled fibers you can provide jali you can provide perforated things slotted material you can use foam so different there are different ways of providing mechanical anchorage uh using different materials since we reduce the depth we also reduce the capability of water holding so it's wise to provide small water reservoirs within the system which plant can take later on and the frequency between two watering comes down and the dry off doesn't happen to the in the root zone so the product needs to be designed in such a way that it supports all these requirements selection of right plants a good horticulturist can always tell you which plant will grow there where but when it comes to indoor our judgment needs to be very precise and the observation should be very perfect for a beginner i can always tell you oxycordium varieties money plant varieties are very safe and philodendron probably philodendron these three varieties are safe out of that oxycordium varieties are the best they can sustain artificial light varying from 18000 1800 lux onwards they will grow at 1800 lux they will sustain after 1200 lux itself so selection of right plant for right location is very important you have to understand the microclimate and the light path sun path you can say unless you check that now you when we talk about north india north india gets its rains at the end of month of june and the hottest day of the year is 22nd june so it necessarily means that the hottest day has uh, is open on that day north side is open to harsh sun and heat whereas same side does not get any light and has to sustain even cold during winter on 26 21st 22nd of december 
so the plant that you use on the north side is the trickiest plant you have to select the right plant for that location which can take the temperature and the heat of 22nd 22nd june as well as also take shade and uh, cold of the season so uh, depending on the direction of the sun your location the uh maybe trees other buildings their location all that you have to visit the site understand what is happening there uh and what is going to happen even later somebody puts a big uh cashier tree right next to your green wall and after five years it is going to shed uh, give shadow over there so you have to understand what is going to happen and when and on that basis you have to select location as well as vegetation so again wind velocity scoring tunnel effect all that you have to go to the site check and then only you can propose see saving a plant is more important than installing so if something is not going to grow well there it's better not to propose high wind velocity scoring will be there for media scoring will be there for plants anything that keeps shaking will never grow because of the dehydration so you have to make sure that the wind velocity either you break the wind velocity or use plant cam plants uh, and make sure that the plant doesn't die the greenery which is expected is possible or you can always put some barriers glass barrier or something and make sure that the plant is healthy many a times nearby the nuisance is not in your place but it's somewhere else anything which is on the west side southwest direction all the dust smoke fume gases everything will come in your property so you have to make sure that what kind of pollution what kind of nuisance you are going to have one in one of my project the client had a big problem every day evening the uh, neighbor used to uh, burn uh, whatever rubber product which used which was a uh, you can say by product so there was a process by which they used to burn it safely but the ash used to fall all over and my client had a business of uh, dyeing sarees and cloth so you know this kind of problems they may not be in your property they'll be somewhere else but for green walls and green roofs we have to understand them all and on that basis we have to propose water quality is important water quality is important from two point of uh, views one is what a plant can sustain and second is what your drip irrigation system can sustain there are some plants which can work at high tdas with high salt percentage but your drip irrigation system will not it will clog so you have to select a right system there are few systems which work on gravity the irrigation of such system happens on gravity and there you can use uh, water which is available and also suitable for the vegetation that you uh, want to put near sea shore salt spray is always a problem so you have to make sure that the that side is protected and uh, you can grow plants there media configuration so uh, basically there are rather we know that we can grow plant without soil so what is important from all these ingredients what i have shown it depends on the purpose if it is a, a typical farming you don't need all this you just need good earth um, farmyard manure or vermiculture whatever because their addition of manure is not a problem but when it comes to green walls green roofs something which inside the building even indoor gardens replenishing the depleted volume because of 
biodegrading is always a big problem. Taking soil or taking everything inside, putting it in uh, in your roof or green wall is impossible. You, it's another installation. But for roof and for indoor gardens, you can carry it inside, but that will create a lot of nuisance for the uh, areas and people around it. So the idea behind this slow biodegrading media is that you use very minimal amount quantity percentage of quick biodegradable biomass. If you consider cocoa peat, then cocoa peat depletes by 35 to 40 percent in the first year, depending on the age of that biomass. But what happens if 40 percent of your media or 40 percent of cocoa peat in your media is deplete, getting depleted in one year or even farmyard manure is getting depleted in one year, you will be, uh, you can add it later, but you will add it only in upper layer. The root zone is down. And so reaching the actual root zone is not possible if you have a permanent plantation like green roofs, green walls. In case of something which you, uh, you know, you dig uh, or you loosen the soil and all that, or you have seasonal plants, or you have tall trees, there you can always keep adding the materials. But in case of green walls, green roofs, and indoor gardens, it is always better to use media, which is primarily it is lightweight, but then it has to provide sufficient root anchorage. So you can see these three four, five, five big items in this. You can see there is a charcoal, there is a brick bat, there is a grit. You can see cocoa chips and also you can see this rock wool which is specially cut and this latest addition of hydrophilic foam substrate, composite substrate. So all these together give root anchorage to the plant they uh, they also give reinforcement to the soil and the rest of the materials provide different requirements what a media ideally will require you don't need to use all of them depending on the area what you have uh, available at the lowest cheapest price is important and again even in the, between these if you look at this brick bat brick bat that we you get in gujarat or maharashtra and lower part of India is a different and the brick, brick bat that you get in Delhi is different. It's very hard. So the we have to understand the purpose. What we want is a porous, which holds a lot of air, also acts as a thermal insulation and will hold some gases and water when you water it. So this is the purpose. You can use any other media and take care of that. So Basically, you have to select what is best for your purpose and that you can use. But always try avoiding using something which biodegrades very quickly because that changes physical as well as chemical properties. And you will have to take out plant, change the soil or add something more and report. So reporting will be required otherwise. Now, in case of vertical garden, I have 10 plants per square feet or six plants per square feet. So for me, it will be few thousands, few lakh plants I'll have to replace a report every year, which is impossible. Impossible from point of view of physically doing it and second, even affording it. Client may not afford it. So basically, selection of uh, soil ingredients and then their mixture. So if you select right material with that, you can always go in for select uh, making a right mixture. Depending on the plant type, you have to uh, choose right proportions of these uh, ingredients. And you can always make a good uh, soil mix, which is does not have soil or any biodegradable material, quick biodegradable material. So oh, I, actually what I have found was sp sphagnum peat. 
is uh, something which is really good. There are different companies supplying it. I'm buying uh, since long from Classman Substrate. And uh, my experience with that is uh, so well that uh, we are now, I don't know, since seven, eight years, we are buying it and we are using it. We have not replenished anywhere uh, media till now. So this, there are some projects like HDFC, even ONGC, then many more where we have not changed media or added anything to media since last 12 years, 10 years like that. So understanding the ingredients and their long-term per performance is very important. Now, what happens in case of vertical garden, you put all kinds of plants together. So there are some are succulents, some are, uh, you know, leafy plants, some have small bulbs. So there are different varieties. Some like le more water, some like less water. So how do we manage in such a vertical garden? How do we manage to provide different water requirement to all these plants? So it's very simple. We have water reservoir at the bottom and the media has a particular capillary capability. So the uh, moisture around the root zone is always optimum what plant wants. By default, it will uh, take up some water when it goes dry by capillary action. So the capillary movement is the main uh, function that happens uh, inside the vertical garden system. So we take water by capillary action from the water reservoir and the area around the root zone is damp only, not very wet, not flooded and plant like that. So with capillary, you can always use shallow plantation. So all these things together. Now, if you look at, if I go back, so water reservoir I'm talking about, I'm talking about media, I'm talking about mold module design. Then we are talking about uh, different ingredients of soil, media. And now on that basis, with a capillary action, we are talking about providing exact moisture, what any plant would like to have. Giving exact quantity of water at the right time is important. So IoT-based system is good for that. And on the basis of moisture and all that, one can always uh, monitor it using different softwares also. We have to understand how my air water, how my green roof, shallow green roof is getting irrigated. Now, if you look at this, one, if you go to any standard uh, irrigation vendor, he will suggest you either over the surface system, over the surface, or inside the media. But typically, if you look at this, you will find that if I give subsoil irrigation, the water will basically get saturated here and it will go down from here itself. Only by capillary action, water will come up. The speed at which evaporation is going to happen and capillary, on that, there will be a kind of a competition between them and that will decide how much water my med uh, media is going to retain for plants, how much it is going to take up. So in North India, I don't suggest this kind of uh, shallow uh, irrigation, subsoil irrigation in the shallow planting. If you put drip lines above, then since there is not much distance and the media is a low density, water will travel, it will find its way quickly. And before getting spreading, before spreading it on sides, it will just enter at the bottom of this water reservoir. Over a period of time, water will go up. 
but it depends how much water this area gets how much this get and how much this you may not have a uniform uh, growth in this area it appears so what is the solution these two were the problems solution is that you have to use sprinkler for a very short period of 2 minutes 3 minutes like that and you get a uh, small body sprinklers which fit in 3 4 inches and if you put that then the whole area gets wet uniformly the excess water travels down and it can take care of uh, it it gives you a uniform uh, water next is access making a tall green wall can be a dream but to bring it to reality you need to have different ways of accessing it so a spider lift there is boom lift what you see on the right side cradle scissor lift ladder scaffolding there are so many ways but they should be assured at site when needed you will have to access these areas once in a 15 days at least depending on the vegetation you are doing and you have to maintain it otherwise it's of no use basically if you cannot go and maintain we are already uh, putting them away from ground they are already in trouble otherwise and if you give them more uh, stress then plants will just die so you have to make sure that uh, the accessibility sometimes machines you can have but some activity is going on so for this particular project we had a problem every day every another day there is a function even in airport we will be we are just checking out i mean how and when we are getting how much time and in that much time how we are going to complete our maintenance so all that working all that uh, uh, study is going on and our vegetation is already made in such a way of wells that they will require least interference training knowledge sharing is most important and unfortunately our education system doesn't permit uh giving so much hands on experience to people after their degree they come to us as if they don't know anything of practical so i believe colleges universities people like us uh should provide training at a cost without cost whatever but uh unless people know this this will not be used and this cannot be executed well and maintained well so this uh, training is very important and i'm sure that brahma sir and his team can definitely make a some kind of start and provide this education the way they have done this they can go few steps further and our industry should also support them for doing it so what you need a very perfect disease free nursery having same size plants what i have found that if you need 5000 10000 plants of one single variety you don't get it so the first thing what we did in 2008 we started our own soilless nursery and now we are able to suffice our needs even if i have to buy a plant or i am running short i'll buy a plant make a cutting of it grow it in soilless media in our environment and after that we use so it takes 4 months for me if i am running short of any variety to actually use it now what happens when somebody invests so much money your client invests so much money so you need to really have a warranties a vendor has to provide warranties client has to ask for warranties it shouldn't happen that you install it and you go and the plant dies or green wall fails so the module should be carrying warranty against its a design manufacturing against fabrication member warranty should be there it should be securely well fastened and 
uh, good to take loads and win loads and everything. Wear tear. Media should be sustainable and longevity enabled. Plant should be selected in such a way that they will have least mortality. And mortality should be part of AMC. Normally what happens, many people uh, do work and then replacing plant becomes their business model. That we have to make sure that it is not a business model. Business model will be giving warranty against plant mortality. Joinery and hardwares are the things which normally people don't give too much importance, but they are the ones actually which actually hold a system in place. So the joineries and hardware should be of best quality. Wherever required, SS material should shall be used. Um, irrigation materials, the design can be always and workmanship can be assured, but the quality of water will always decide whether the drippers are going to get clogged or not. And yeah, workmanship I already covered. I believe for today, this is like a start kind of a, this thing, but this is what I would like to share from my side. For further details, we can always get in connected uh, through same uh, platform. Thank you. Thank you, Praveen Bar Pandey Sahib. Your lecture is mesmerizing. I don't know <clears throat> from where to start, where to start. Anyway, I will come little later. I request my colleague, Dr. Shalendra Rajan. I put him in the <laughs> job. Uh, just to uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, whether whether you can hear me. What he, would, he, he, would, he is going yeah. to highlight and what he is going to leave it. He will have a tough time. Uh, everything is very important. Anyway, Rajan Sahib, good luck. I kindly moderate. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. It is a very difficult job, as already indicated by you. And we had an, uh, I should, what I should say, what adjective I should use for this uh, great lecture by Dr. Pradeep Parpande. Uh, he has given interesting uh, several examples from different parts of the world. So amazing. Uh, from hanging bell wheels, living walls, from Dubai Expo uh, 2020, uh, this example. Then vertical gardens. Uh, how those are important, he has already given uh, several uh, <coughs> details. And wow, what is the uh, why we should create and what are should what should be the priority for creating uh, greenery? Uh, he has given an example of the Pattaya botanical garden. And most important thing is the <coughs> nitty gritty. That is the media is important. And he has given the some he has specified that media should be uh, what, what characteristic it should have. And the <coughs> He also gave, has given example now, uh, which are the places where people are now trying to have green in fences, indoor spaces, and what are the requirements of different types of plants, light, and all other things. Maintenance is the most important thing in uh, greenery. In establishing it is important. He said that, but maintenance, he has emphasized how we can maintain it. Then using pergolas, an example of Tail Bhavan, Dehradun, those are, all, those are important examples. Then shallow planting with a limited space, it can be possible. Uh, with his technology and living uh, this wall art green wall hanging media is not coming out there those type of things are to be considered beautifully explained the special hydrophilic foam uh, used as a media his eye opening hanging uh, green examples with a sensor for automation are very very uh, important he explained the modular systems article gardens particularly the bell-shaped one structures, then details of the wells, or he is also given the vertical gardening, how it can, the engineering is involved. He already mentioned this 80%, 90% is the engineer's job. And afterwards, the uh, plant uh, scientists are involved. And Taylor made designs, how those from the Canada, how those can be, <laughs> how those have been uh, converted into uh, suitable for the Indian conditions, the rainfall is uh, high. The different components of the vertical gardens, how the encourage is important, use of geofiber, net foam, uh, net, nets, foams, what are the, uh, many components, those can be utilized. Then water reservoirs in the vertical garden, those are important. How the uh, this capillary system can work, how the drips can work. Then other factors like uh, wind velocity, say how the plants have to be saved and 
maintain sometimes dust uh, smoke fume those are to be considered he has given example then what when the water quality quality is important type of plant and drip system those are important he has given in a very beautiful way uh, then media uh, selection for the vertical garden slow there he has given the slow bio uh, grading media uh, degrading media is required reporting requirement should be considered otherwise it will be a very very costly job for uh, Uh, particularly maintaining it, different uh, water requirements and how the uh, different types of plants are to be managed, or how the capillary system movement uh, can be uh, <coughs> modulated, how it is important in vertical gardens. We could also know. then IoT system uh, based uh, the moisture uh, sensing and uh, uh, replenishing water that is important becoming important. Then capillary water supply and evaporation rated in the uh, rates. in the subsoil irrigation is given an example for the north india uh, where uh, the evaporation rate will be too high and then use of sprinklers uh, the mini sprinkler for the uniform that has been mentioned by him then access to the green wall for uh, maintenance uh, that is important and machinery is required that is time and again maintenance is required he mentioned after 15 days it may be required then importance of the nursery uh, is very much Uh, for this type of uh, i should say business where the small uh, size plants or the uniform size plants are required and those are to be uh, multiplied in the soil less media how the module warranties uh, are to be considered particularly if one is going in this business then the great examples by given by the elt india uh, we have seen and particularly the principles of successfully establishing green walls and vertical gardens we have learned bit about and many more lectures are required and i will uh, request dr bram singh for that purpose thank you very much thank you sir i have finished uh, dr bram singh sir i have finished my job <laughs> you have done the job ah good i just have one correction to the make okay yeah sir yeah uh, you called me pradeep doctor pradeep barpande but in your field i am 10th pass i am mcom llb dtl icwa dcm i have not studied architecture engineering or horticulture <laughs> okay But who is who is so going, the, who is going to who is going to believe all that? Nobody is going to. <laughs> you have studied much more. You have worked hard. It's not necessary to go to the college and university to study. The home is the best place to study. Uh, if there is a will, there is a there is a way. Your own work is a I don't know study place and what not. Nothing can be a better place than the your working place. Which uh, we, we we suggest you uh, what way to go and how to do it, and that's what uh, you have learned um, uh, learning while working, and you have attained the perfection, perfection which is a uh, very difficult to attain. The things are working, and something with the scientist, um, scientist can't think of all those things which you have done. You have mentioned that. the something very simple thing scientist uh, will not be able to think of that a, a medium should be very slow biodegradable he will say the uh, it should be biodegradable so that you can get rid of that yeah <laughs> no you 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 you, you have shown it uh, if you, if you were a uh, medium is biodegradable you it will cost you fortune You will not be able to pull on if every time yeah. you have to change your uh, <coughs> your uh, medium. The medium should last, and that's what you have left indelible impression on me. That for uh, so many years a media will last. Something, sir, good to you. Very good, very good. This I think uh, uh, whatever uh, I was doing will do apology. Uh, I was after you to have a talk, and I think I was right in my. <laughs> task to <laughs> just follow you and get you here though in the end of the year two zero double two, but I could succeed. 
I, I myself congratulate myself that I, I succeeded to get you. And I'm sure the people will be benefited. And our BSHF, as you have said, we will take it up. And what we are doing, we are spreading and disseminating the knowledge. And the knowledge uh, available with person like you, how you should go to the uh, people. They should know. And our videos, etc., are available. I'm not getting them removed. I'm keeping them. I'm paying for that. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And mm -hmm. people should learn it. People should know yeah. that such a thing is already there. And we are proud of you, sir. India you, sir. is an advanced country in vertical gardening. Yeah. That's what you had demonstrated at Bangalore at other places and even abroad. We are proud of you, both you and Anuji. Uh, kindly convey yeah. our <clears throat> heartfelt congratulations. She is also Absolutely. working hard. And uh, yeah. my sincere request to you, uh, if you find time, you won't find time, I'm also sure. But even then I have to request, kindly, kindly, somehow or the other or some branch of that, start a training institute in this particular line. This particular line will give lot of employment to the unemployed youth. And they will also enjoy, country will also enjoy, environment will improve. The money is there. It's not that the money is not there. Money is there. It may not give you seeds and that crop, etc. But in direct income, fantastic. Fantastic. If my uh, house, if my house is livable and I like the uh, surrounding, I'm ready to pay anything. What uh, is affordable? I would love to uh, be in a surrounding which uh, always keeps my mood up and uh, working and always talking goody goody with everybody. And that the plants are contributing and leave aside the environment and other uh, um, uh, benefits which they are doing it. And if we improve upon, I think the the crisis, climate crisis, what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. At least we will be contributing a little bit to improve upon yeah. that. Uh, some carbon yeah. sequestration must be there. Let it be temporary, but it will be there. So I think uh, very important talks are. Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't have words Thank you. to express my my feeling that uh, you came and you have delivered and you have, I'm sure those who will see the video, they will get impressed with that. And um, you have already promised uh, we will be meeting again and let us see what we can do. I'm very close to you now. I'm in Thane, you are in Pune. So okay, sir. Uh, let, us, let us see, let us see, we'll yeah. meet. I'll drop so, it, so with these words, thank you very much. I yeah. thank perfectly to you to Rajan, to uh, Dr. Pitam Kalia, Ms. Sivangi. And uh, Sivangi ji, we can wish uh, uh, happy new year to all. That's all. We will come back. We will come back, but not at this moment. We will yes, announce sir, later. Happy new year, sir. Uh, uh, we, we will uh, come back uh, with the new series, um, um, <coughs> gathering information. So thank you so much. Uh, Shivangi, you, are you going to put up that? Uh, or... Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Uh, that is, uh, see, I, I, I work with the spines. I love mm -hmm. spines. But these spines, the other thing, is uh, even the Honorable Prime Minister of India called it a Sanjeevani. And uh, this is what you talked about. Uh, uh, not exactly the same thing. But the hydroponic, you talked about the yeah. other medium, solid one. Yeah. I'm talking, I'm, I'm, I'm sir, Pandey sir on this, to popularize it, huh? to popularize yeah. this and not in a sophisticated yeah. climate control condition. When uh, winter yeah. season is there in North India, what is the problem of having hydroponic in open? No, it's, I believe. The climate is, uh, climate is ideal. So what is, what is the problem? Uh, so that's what uh, I'm...
working. There, I think only except root zone temperature, there will not be any issue. We, we have to protect root zone temperature. No, there is no issue, sir. I have tried. I have tried for good three years mm. and just uh, shown, demonstrated yeah. to the people. And I enjoyed the greens. I could not mm. go for those tomatoes, tomato and all that. But that's also possible. That's also possible. Any, anyway, sir, see you. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, G. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, sir. Okay.